Good morning. It's Friday, October 14th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Gentle Way, and our scripture is 2 Timothy chapter 2, where Paul writes, Again I say, don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments that only start fights. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone, be able to teach, and be patient with difficult people. Gently instruct those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change these people's hearts, and they will learn the truth. Then they will come to their senses and escape from the devil's trap, for they have been held captive by him to do whatever he wants. The old apostle Paul is sharing advice with his protege, Timothy, a young pastor. He's reminding him of what he's already mentioned several times. When you're a pastor, you can't get too fiery or debate-minded. You start more fires when you use fire, and one fire is enough. Paul understood well enough that arguing is a sure way to create division, not understanding and progress. It's somewhat strange to contemplate Paul's history when he was still Saul, of persecuting the church, even handing Christians over to the executioners, against the advice he now gives Timothy to gently instruct those who oppose the truth of God's word. But time has passed, and Paul has gained insight and wisdom from the hurt he not only caused, but also experienced firsthand when the methodology of changing the world meant might makes right. He saw the devastation of fanaticism. It is, as he told Timothy, the devil's trap. I'm not sure I've ever met a more gentle person than the one who gave birth to me. Mom maintained a gentleness that showed support, restraint, kindness, and a safe haven place to be for anyone. Criticism was in short supply when Cecilia was speaking, and she believed in the adage that God gave you two ears and one mouth, and they ought to be used in those same proportions. Listen, hear, and understand twice as much as speaking, if not more. You always knew you would have a listening ear without judgment. But in a surprising turn, whenever she had your ear, she was not hesitant to talk about God's goodness. I believe Mom had paid attention to Paul's wisdom imparted to Timothy to gently instruct. That is usually the only way opposers come to a change of heart, when all the rancor and harsh words are left in the dust. It's then God can speak to a heart and bring a wanderer to his senses. For you today, there's an old saying, when birds are arguing, no one in the nest gets fed. The case for the gentle way is, when restraint, kindness, support, and a safe haven for other ideas is married to thinking the best of others, everyone will be fed. And God's Spirit is free to do what the Spirit does, empower the work of the kingdom to flourish like a field of wildflowers in bloom. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.